Growing up on Bashan was the definition of alternative. It was all outdoors, there was a lot of nature. We made our own paper at school and we went on hikes. We're a little bit, you know, outside of the city life and I think we like that. If you find things that you like to do outside and be in nature, it's, it's a really great place to be, I think. I really like living on the island. You really like know everyone and it's kind of fun to grow up with everyone and know them throughout your whole school career. On Vashon, you live with what you've got for a really long time because we're also quite conservative about resources here. And so since the early 70s, we've been living with a building that didn't really fit our program. I found it to be a fairly disrespectful experience for students. The amount of travel that they had to endure through inclement weather outside between buildings, the lack of seating, literally sitting on the carpet to eat their lunch. And then of course the, the age of the building uh, meant that it was falling apart. And what was so hard to juxtapose against that is that we are an award-winning school. And we all felt a tremendous duty to get this project right because history said that we'd be living with this project for 50 years and we couldn't get it wrong. It really became a process of what do you do to take the largest construction project this island has ever seen, involve the right people with the right decisions to get to the right place so that you would have a building that would not only serve the present, but have the capacity and flexibility for the future. We began to really look for a building that can sort of inhale students and exhale students so that they can move and flow with each other and that they all aren't in separate learning cells, but that it becomes a really interactive space. There's so many different areas that students can work. There's the den, there's the lunchroom, the great hall, the library. You can basically adapt your learning styles to your surroundings. I could choose to study outside or I could choose to study indoors. There's a lot of flexibility that's been designed within these spaces for student activities. Inside the classroom, the kind of furniture that we purchased and the kind of chairs that we purchased allow for teachers to quickly mobilize students into different kinds of configurations. So there's a lot more group work and collaboration taking place. The focus on STEM and the facilities to support applied learning are very flexible and they allow for us programmatically to explore a lot of different options when we think about how to prepare students for the 21st century and how to help them with an ever-changing workforce environment. I'm very excited about the new school building. I like how it's open. You can see everyone and there's just lots of views that are unique. My favorite part of the new school is all the natural lighting and the open space. I love that it's nature-oriented. Our theater, it's really nice. And when you're in there, you just feel like you're at a professional show. Oh, the arts are really important to the island. Growing up, there was ballet, there was every type of dance, pencil and paper, sketching, photography, sometimes there are art tours. And it's fun to just walk around and show everyone the wood. It just has this really pretty like glow to it. A lot of the wood you see was harvested on the island, and you can tell it looks really unique and adds a nice feel to the building. We realized that we had the opportunity to include alder, western maple, madrone, and douglas fir actually harvested on this campus. And we wanted to, as much as possible to spread the economic game on the island uh, among uh, local vendors and contractors. And the large majority of our framing package was supplied locally. The siding package was local. All of our paint came from the other hardware store. We bought appliances. The idea of living a resource conservative lifestyle is so integrated into our community. And this project, more than any project I've ever had the opportunity to work on, is a true reflection of the values of the community it serves. The idea is that this building serves as a learning tool in its own right. I think that it's important that our high school is making an effort to make sure that we're not wasting anything that we've been given. They use rain to flush the toilets. We have this water filler where you put your water bottle under and it fills it up and it's to say plastic water bottles. We have reusable lunch trays and silverware and, and every day all of the students separate their food waste and everyone can make a difference in their world every single day and feel good about that in their school. One of the first things upon entering into this new space that we noticed right away is that students finally felt that they were being honored and that they were being valued. You feel proud if you say, this is my school. 
This is a significant public structure, uh, the first one since uh, probably the early 70s that the island has really invested in. So I see it as a real cornerstone. As a town member, I look at this as a facility for me and my family as well. I think it was Winston Churchill who said, uh, we shape our buildings and then our buildings shape us. And this building truly is, is shaping uh, us as a community.